I lost my shit in San Francisco. I'll be honest with you. I was a little edgy. I uh, had some problems. I get aggravated uh, with, uh, I, I, like, I don't want to say kids because I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that old guy. You know, get, what's with the fucking kids these days? What's with the kids? And I don't know if it even was a kid, but something, something hit my nerve, struck my nerve, stuck in my craw. I don't know. I was on stage at the Purple Onion, a venue that I like. And I was telling that drug story that many of you know because the theme was drug stories. It was the one about, I did uh, a Viagra story, and then I did the one about going to see Jerry Garcia. I mentioned the Grateful Dead, and I hear some girl in the audience go, boo, boo. I said, the Grateful Dead, boo. And I snapped. I was ready to snap all weekend. I don't know if I'm manic or exhausted or or, um, overworked, but I'm edgy. I'm saying shit I shouldn't say. You know, I'm getting off stage, making comments. I'm making comments about uh, to to comics, about other comics. I'm yeah. I'm just like I'm just a live wire, and I'm a little manic, and that might have been why I couldn't sleep. But I heard. I said, "Grateful Dead, boo! Grateful Dead, boo!" And I was like, "Fuck you! Who the fuck are you? Cannot dismiss." You know, the history of a band, of, of cultural icons who changed the game a bit, who created their own sound, who represented a type of lifestyle. Look, I'm no great deadhead, but I cannot take this dismissing, this condescending sort of what ifs dismissal. I mean, it's sort of like saying, I don't like the Beatles. Really, you don't like all of them. You don't like the whole Beatles catalog. You can't just dismiss with one word without saying something else. Why don't you like them? So I, of course, said to her, look, don't dismiss the Grateful Dead just because you hate your dad. Don't dismiss the Grateful Dead because you had a weird experience with a white guy with dreads who smelled funny in college. Don't dismiss the Grateful Dead for their legacy. And I'm not even a big deadhead. It's just you cannot just... Have that. You've got to have a conversation around some things. I have this weird issue with the fact that there is no linear history anymore because of what we can do online, because of the information available. It, everything is vertical. Everything is happening now, now, all at once. There is no linear sense of history. We live in a day and age where it wouldn't be, wouldn't surprise me if I overheard someone in their twenties say, "Wait, Hitler was the guy with the mustache, with the funny mustache. That was Hitler, right?" He was a dude with the uniform and the mustache, German guy. No context, no anything. And I think it's, I think it's frankly dangerous. Am I being just old guy? Am I being the, like these kids, they don't care about anything anymore. And then I had a conversation with a couple other guys my age. Uh, one of them was, in, uh, was uh, talking about movies with some uh, you know, uh, high school kids, I think it was. And he brought up Gone with the Wind. And, someone, and one of them says, that movie's so old. That was made in like the 70s. There's got to be context in order for, for there to be any evolution of creativity or any appreciation of what we can do as human beings. You have to have some context. Boo! Boo! I'm a little edgy. Boo!